Hello and welcome to Let Play Coveted. Um, by, this is by Austin Breed. It is a game that is made to be an art game. Um, it's kind of disturbing. And I don't know why I'm playing it, but I am. I uh, just want to point out, I know you're probably expecting to have Stickia this week, but that isn't going to happen because Chappelle is out right now, and I would like to finish the playthrough with him. So, as you can see on the screen, it says that you use the arrow keys to do everything, and that is true. Um, yeah, some text like this comes up all once in a while, I'll give you time to read it. And this game is basically about you playing as this dot, and you need to collect the other dots, and you'll see why in a minute. If you, if you haven't played this, you should probably go play it right now, because it's not as creepy if you're just watching it. The experience is a lot better when you're actually playing it. I suggest wearing your headphones, because the 8-bit type music is really unsettling, and it adds to the effect. You know, I think the crappy graphics actually make this game better because it just makes it look creepier. Yeah, I would see this. Sal is left to die in the fresh flesh of his brother. And uh, that is what this game is technically about. But you'll see as it goes on that there is a secondary theme to it. The guy who made this Austin Breed is really good at making art games, I think. Uh, he's kind of hit or miss. Sometimes his games I disagree with, but um, I think this one's pretty good. It's actually kind of funny because so many people on Newgrounds don't get that this is supposed to be philosophical and that it's not supposed to have good graphics and the world's most epic gameplay. And I'll show you the comments later. It's actually kind of hilarious how many people don't understand it. Yeah, one of the things that makes this creepy is that the brother doesn't fight back at all. You can just eat his insides and he'll let you. Yeah, it's it starts getting weird here. See, the, the brother's starting to look not very happy, and you'll see that the player character is starting to evolve into something else. To thrive is to eat. Consuming, consu continue consuming my host, my ignorant kin. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Yeah, I, the brother looks weird. It's like his arms are all droopy and stuff. And yeah, that is where the game starts getting really messed up. As you can see, the player characters now evolved into a flashing Beatus monster. That's kind of sick. Yeah, I'm pretty sure at this point, if I had my headphones in, the music would have changed. And oh, yeah, I forgot to mention this game has some inappropriate language in that part. Um, I'm assuming the grammar is terrible on purpose. And yeah, right now, like, alarms would be going off if the music were on. I know that. Background flashing is creepy. Oh, okay, I never desired wealth or status, just existence. And basically this game was made for the little mini dare 20 with the theme of greed. That's what I meant by that. He is greedy because he wants to exist. But to do so he has to kill his brother. And a lot of people on Newgrounds don't understand that. Again, I'll show you the comments. They're kind of funny. And yeah, you just bash left and right and you tear your brother open. It's like the end of Alien except for terrible and I would argue more creepy and I am getting uncomfortable with this red screen I'm just gonna stop recording because I know there isn't one but I feel like there will be a screamer and I'm just going to stop this so um you know what no I am not going to stop this I am going to show you the alternate ending I will be right back Hello and welcome back. Um, 
I am just getting to the alternate ending. I'm pretty close. It shouldn't take too long to get there. And then I'll show you the comments and we will be done. That looks really weird. And yeah, I feel like that's a little bit jarring. I understand that the thing's getting upset and it's weird, but I don't know. I feel like that could have been worded better. This this game was made in 24 hours, so that's probably part of it. And you see there's a health meter on the bottom. This time, instead of pressing left and right to break out and filling up the top meter, I'm going to let the bottom meter run out. And yeah, in this ending, that thing dies, and in the end, he couldn't put myself to steal from another what was once stolen from me. And as much as that ending strikes a chord, I just realized that I couldn't put myself as terrible grammar again. I don't think that was intentional. I couldn't make myself would make sense, but that doesn't. And this time, the ending has a black screen, which is even creepier, so I'll be back with the comments in a second. As you can see, Newgrounds is not the most mature website. Um, a lot of comments are like this, where people just did not get it. Um, I, I personally like the one in the middle. Wow, that sucked, but somehow it scared me by that one person ate, and then his description is that sucked, just plain out sucked. I like it partially because clearly shows that the person didn't understand the game, but I also like it because they use the term plain out when it should have been flat out, and that just goes to show how much thought they put into understanding the game. Um, you can't see it, but directly above there is a fairly good review. Um, below that is a review that says that it didn't like the game but at least gives a reason for it um both of those are acceptable i think just i wanted to show you these middle ones because it's kind of funny how little understanding is demonstrated here um i know this game is a little more serious than the other ones i've played but oh well um i kind of liked how this was only one episode i might do this a little bit more before i do other things, um, and I will call it a mini let play. So I will see you next time. Goodbye.